Yo guys, what is up? My name is Jerocroft and welcome back once again to another Minecraft video. Today we find ourselves in the blistering desert for yet again another transformation. Today obviously we're going to be transforming the desert temple. I will transform a desert village for a later video, so if you do enjoy this, don't forget to subscribe. Right then, today's transformation should be relatively easy, at least compared to my previous videos where you guys know I get really carried away and undertake some huge projects. So I'm going to keep things simple and straightforward so that you guys can follow. And if you can't actually build this yourself, you can always just get some build tips and ideas for your future projects. Now the first step in this transformation is actually quite important. Notice how the desert temple walls are just purely flat. We do need to add some depth to this build and to do this I'm going to add three extra layers to the walls. We're going to be adding some orange stained clay to stick to the original design. We're going to add some birch wood and then some sandstone for some extra detailing. Now obviously I do need to replicate this design over to the other tower, but besides that I thought I'd give you guys a rough idea of what it is I'm aiming for. I thought I'd try something different today and go for a sort of Aladdin fantasy style palace, instead of just building an ordinary pyramid in the middle of the desert. In many occasions you might actually come across a desert village that surprisingly has a temple as well. So this would be perfect for our desert village transformation. Apart from that, I'm also going to add in some orange wool for extra colour and also even add some height to the towers and build ourselves a much more fancy looking entrance. And so we continue adding some detail right around the tower, but the most important feature is about to be introduced, which is this dome shaped roof sitting right at the top of the tower built out of red sandstone. I think this was the perfect block to use, seeing as red sandstone has the same texture as ordinary sandstone. Apart from that we do have stair blocks which allows us to add a lot of extra detail to the dome. We're also going to add a back entrance to this tower creating a simple archway and obviously replicating the tower design over to the other side of the building. I think my main focus for this transformation and pretty much any of my building projects is pretty much down to detail, depth and a combination of the color palette we use. Everything else is pretty much down to your creativity and imagination. Right guys, and so we continue with the back of the pyramid. Now this is where things get a bit more complicated, a bit more tricky, because obviously a pyramid doesn't make much sense combined together with the fantasy style palace that we're building. So I do need to make some changes to the overall shape and size of the original pyramid. I will keep to the same style, just adding a bit more kind of larger steps instead of singular blocks right up to the top. I'll add in some stair blocks and some orange stained clay for the back walls as we've done with the front of the building. And I know I use a lot of stair blocks when it comes to building in Minecraft, even a few of you mentioned it in the comments, but honestly I believe that using stair blocks in your builds just adds so much extra detail, you can create so many different styles and shapes using them, that honestly I believe that this is, could be one of my favourite blocks to build with. Apart from that guys, we are almost done with this build, we're going to add a third kind of final top piece to this building and then create a third dome, much larger than the ones on the two separate towers. Right guys, so I'm just adding in some extra bits of colour right at the back of the palace as well as adding some stair blocks to each corner to create some jagged edges. Apart from that, if you guys do want a step-by-step -step tutorial video instead, I do have a very old video which actually features a very similar building to this one. So check that out on the tutorial playlist. Oh boy, now this is where things start to get really exciting because we are almost done with this build and I just cannot wait to get down to transforming that desert village. If you think that's a good idea, just thumbs up this video, let me know in the comments below and we can incorporate this fantasy temple design into our village as well. I'm not only just going to transform a village, I'm also going to show you guys how to put together an entire city and actually expand on the village itself. Apart from that guys, we're finishing up on the front side of the temple and finally moving on to creating that huge dome right at the top as well. Thank you. 
Well guys, I can definitely tell you we have made some serious changes to this desert temple. But remember what I told you, build tips, inspiration and ideas, always try and incorporate your own design. I'm going to transform my already transformed build and try and incorporate a different design. This time going for something a bit more fantasy, creating a much more peaked roof and adding some sort of fire crystals right at the top of each roof section. Just to try out something different. I did kind of already like the original design I built, but either way, trying out different things. Well, all that's left to say now is a big thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more videos, and I will see you in the next one. This is Jerocraft over and out.